welcome to Quick Tech News, where we keep you updated in the world of tech without wasting your time. Furniture designer Herman Miller, mostly known for making expensive ergonomic office chairs, has teamed up with Logitech to bring us the Embody Gaming Chair. The new chair is a hybrid built upon their existing Embody line of ergonomic office seats, sprinkled with gaming-oriented features from Logitech, such as special cooling foam in the seat and lower back of the chair, as well as more upright positioning to help with intense gaming sessions. The original Embody chair is already considered to be one of the better ergonomic chairs out there, and it seems like Logitech wants to place itself into the premium end of gaming chairs with a price tag of almost $1,500. US dollars, over three times the cost of most high-end gaming chairs. In fairness, most gaming chairs are terribly designed and rely heavily on flashy appearances and gaming branding to sell what are at best mediocre products. Samsung is releasing an updated version of their Z Flip smartphone which launched in February. The update adds 5G support to the phone along with the latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processor from Qualcomm. It also comes in two new colors, Mystic Grey and Mystic Bronze. The new features will raise the price by $70 to $1450. Samsung's been a strong player in the folding phone market, already launching two models with a third set to launch in August. These innovative high-end products come at a difficult time. 2020 should have been a great year for smartphones with innovations like foldable phones and 5G gaining traction. But with the current pandemic, both supply of these products and demand from consumers will be lower as the global economy struggles. Ubisoft has announced that they won't be raising the price for their new AAA titles that will be launched on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, at least not until next year. Some other companies, such as Take-Two, will charge $70 for NBA 2K21. The standard price of $60 US for AAA titles has not changed over 20 years, whilst the cost of producing new titles has become several times more expensive than before. This is why some companies are now including microtransactions into their games, to allow them to generate additional revenue after the game has been launched. Many gamers, myself included, would like to see all features of the game be accessible straight away once purchasing the game. But the real question is, are we willing to pay more for that? Would you pay $70 or $80 for a AAA game, knowing that you'd get everything there is to get straight away? Or would you rather pay less up front and have the choice to buy content down the line? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could like the video, subscribe and tell your friends to help get this channel off the ground. Thanks and see you next time.